Welcome back everyone. In this video we're going to be showcasing how to weld a platinum ring. So I have cut this ring to simulate resizing. You can see that the edge here is cut with a groove so that we can see that we can do some welds and get full penetration into the depth of that ring. Right now I'm at 55 watt seconds using a 150S and I'm using sloped agitation. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay down some initial welds and then we're going to do some backfill with some platinum wire. So what I like to do is I like to come in at an angle just like this and this allows me to get in there to flow that metal down. Perfect. Now I'm going to do another weld here. So this initial weld, what I like to do is really light it up. Because what I found is this particular metal, especially when it's hard or work hardened, it doesn't uh, handle hammering or reworking. So now with that I can introduce my fill wire to clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to reduce that down to we'll say 15 and then I can go through Smooth that out. And I like having the wire nice and close, but not touching the electrode. some pliers to grip this better. So we're just going to repeat that process on this other side. Just doing a little bit more backfill. I'm just laying that wire just outside that zone and building that up. Gorgeous. And then I can smooth that out further on the inside. I'll do this in a better angle for you. So I have the ring like this, and then I introduce it from the in inner diameter. And that last weld, I needed to add a little bit more metal on this inside corner. And that's looking pretty great. I could then go over and do any last minute filing that I needed to do to smooth that out, buff it, and that's ready to be sent to the client. Now let's say we have a prong that needs to be built up. What we're going to be doing is we're going to put the wire close, but not touching the electrode. 
And then we're going to come in here. Again, we're adding metal. Wiggle that wire back off. And now that's built up. We can do any last minute filing in order to match these other prongs. And then we should be in very good shape. If I need to do any smoothing, we can just do additional welds in order to smooth that out, reducing any post work that we may need to do. Now let's say that the wire or the the ring was a poor, uh, poor casting. So to simulate this, I'm going to put a little gouge there. We can ground that out. And I'm using 10 watt seconds with no agitation right now. So again, I'm going to do some welds. And as a reminder, you can see that the welds aren't performing as well as I would expect them to. And that's because our electrode has gotten dirty. So I can pull that out, maintain it to a nice sharp point. We can use this again as our ruler. Push that in just a little bit. That feels good. And we want this just finger tight, not crazy tight. Okay. So going back, we're going to just perform a quick test weld. Perfect. It's lots better. So now I can lay down just a little bit of metal. Okay, so I can wiggle that extra wire off. I can smooth out So I'm just smoothing that, all that out. Now that that has been fixed, I can do some less Some, some post work to smooth that out a little bit more. Put it on the buffing wheel to clear out all this these abrasions on the ring. And that will be ready to be sent to the client.